Mrs. Ganser, and welcome to e-learning day number 22, May 6, 2020. And I hope today is a happy day. I'm planning on a happy day for myself, and I'm hoping for a happy day for all of you. I put this little uh, banner up at the top. It says, always believe something wonderful is about to happen. So, here's what to be happy about. Something wonderful is government. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> okay, number one, discussion board. Hours are 3.15 to 4.30, Tuesday through Friday. Post a question or issue, and I'll do my best to answer it promptly. Email responses take a little longer. Number two, work has to be done on time. An untimely assignment equals a zero, unless you have an excused absence. Tech issue or Wi-Fi problems, you know you have to follow the classroom rules. Notify me by calling Gary Catholic and leaving a message on voicemail, my voicemail, before midnight. A no timely call equals a zero. Uh, there's my Garen Catholic number. And there's my addition from the last time, too. If you're in a Zoom meeting and you have a computer issue or your Wi-Fi connection goes down or you can't make the connection and you can't attend the meeting or return to the meeting, you really need to call me, okay? You need to pick up the telephone and leave a message on my voicemail at Garen Catholic. This way I know that you are having a problem, okay? Uh, so and please call me immediately, like right before the meeting if your Wi-Fi is down or your computer's out or something or during the time of the meeting. Okay, don't wait till later on. Uh, you need to do it timely. Okay, uh, please use the Garen Catholic number, and yeah, that's about it. You can try a, a hot spot if this happens to you. All right, week peak. Assignments for May 5th through May 8th. We did lesson 14 yesterday. Today we're doing lesson 15. I've got a study guide for you just ahead, and we have a scheduled Zoom meeting uh, for Thursday and a test on Friday. Uh, yesterday, in my May 5th day assignment, my, uh, my May 5th uh, Ed Puzzle, I realized through the help of a couple of different students, and I want to thank you very much for that, that I made a mistake and I noted that the test would be on Thursday. Well, that is wrong. The test is on Friday. The Zoom meeting is on Thursday. Okay, Zoom meeting Thursday, test Friday. May 6th, today you read, do a couple of ed puzzles, a study guide, and then do the PowerPoint. I thought that went pretty well last week. Um, again, I'm trying super duper hard to help you get, uh, learn material in government, get through government without too much stress. Um, just really, really trying hard to, to make it uh, doable for you, not overwhelming or dreaded. So the activities from the PowerPoint seem to work pretty well. There were a couple of people that did not do the PowerPoint uh, slides. I would really appreciate it if you um, would do those slides. This way you can be prepared, earn OTB points, and as well, 
you know, you can feel like you're learning something, which is like an awesome thing. All right. Here's your lesson 15 planning guide. Print it out. Punch holes in it. Put in the binder. Do the reading. Uh, whoops. Here's the lecture 15 notes. Sorry. Uh, not 14. Uh, that ad puzzle is due May 6th. Here we go. Uh, your lection, lesson 15 study guide is right here. Lesson 15 study guide. Again, print it out, punch holes in it, put in the binder. And then here's the 1415 review PowerPoint. Print it out, punch holes in it. Please, please, please complete the entire PowerPoint before Thursday. We will use it during the Thursday Zoom meeting. Each OTB group in each class has certain specific slides assigned to them. These OTB groups should be prepared to present the answers on these slides as a team. I will call on individual members of the team as I did last time. Uh, I was a, a little on the lenient side last time in terms of if you hadn't finished the PowerPoint. So for OTB points, please finish the PowerPoint. You really need to do it so that you know what is going on and can respond to the questions. Uh, the number of each slide is in a little orange box. See, they're number seven with a little orange box. So you should be able to find the slides without a problem. Again, please be sure you are prepared. I hope we'll get through all of them. We may not. There's 13 of them this time. We may have to go a little bit more efficiently, which means that you guys really need to be prepared. So try super duper hard. I, I would just... I would just be so thankful if you did and just so proud of you. So please, please give it a good effort. There is the breakdown, period one, two, three. There's your OTB groups. There, there are your slide assignments. Um, please do all of them, but really be at least um, prepared to speak on each of these other, uh, each of your assigned slides. Okay, and sliding down, or sliding down, scrolling down. Here's the link to that PowerPoint right there. And then please listen to today's assignment, Ed Puzzle. This is what you're listening to right now. And we're going to pray in just a minute. Number four, Thursday Zoom meeting. Okay, that's a mandatory meeting. Don't miss it. You'll get a zero. Be on time. More than 10 minutes late, you're considered absent. Once in the meeting, don't leave until dismissed. You cannot earn OTB points if you are not present or you don't stay for the entire meeting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and let's see, details about that meeting will be coming soon. I'll post those up tomorrow in the module. And please see the addition up there about missing Zoom meetings. I uh, Please make that telephone call if you're having a Wi-Fi or tech issue. And then there's a test on Friday. Mark that on your calendar. Don't miss the test because you end up with a zero in an unexcused absence. Okay, let's pray. Here we go. Today is Wednesday, so we're going to pray St. Augustine's Prayer to the Holy Spirit first. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. And then the Anima Christi. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me to come to you, that with your saints I may praise you. 
forever and ever. Amen. Now, petitions in solidarity. Uh, Lord, we just praise you and thank you so much for this blessed day. Um, just ask you, Lord, to bless all of my wonderful students that I wish I could see every single day in the classroom, that I wish that I could, oh gosh, just be able to engage and chat and talk and work through the material together. Um, that is just something that I miss so much. And so I just ask you to bless all of my students with grace, um, bless them with joy, um, bless them today with happiness, help them to find something to be happy to or happy for or happy because of or just some reason to be happy, to live in the joy of knowing you love them, but something that will allow them to have a smile on their face. Lord, I ask you to bless all of them in their health, all of their families, all of their loved ones, their homes, all of their schoolwork, their chores. I don't know, some of them are working outside the home. Lord, just bless them, bless them, bless them, and help them to grow in love um, and peace and in joy and help them to rest in you in knowing um, that you are with them and walk with them always. Lord, today we pray for all those that have the coronavirus, all those that are on the front lines taking care of all the coronavirus patients, all the doctors, the nurses, the ER attendants, the people that work the ambulances, and the frontline first responders, and all the people that clean, clean, clean to make sure that they're getting the um, as the best they can, getting everything clean and sanitized to avoid the spread of the virus. Lord, we pray for all those that have died of the coronavirus and all those that will die yet today. There's going to be so many people that die today of this coronavirus. Lord, I just ask you to bring them to heaven, have mercy on them, look not on their sins, but on the life they lived in joy and in love with you. Lord, bless all my students. And please, help them to be happy today. Help them to be happy today. Bless them, bless them, bless them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.